So y'all know how I be doing, cooking the books with a whole new meaning, giving a whole new meaning to cooking the books. And every time I cook the books, I get some jewels or some gems I share share here with you guys. So I've been looking at, again, you know, just going back over some thermodynamics, looking at the different laws and so on and so forth. And what I, I spoke about energy, our energy and uh, our internal energy. Uh, the interesting thing is our internal energy, right? As I made mention in the previous video, energy is what every organism, every living organism needs energy to perform their tasks, their work, their day-to-day -day activities, but not only perform them, but to perform them well, to perform them at a superior, uh, exceptional and remarkable level, right? We, we are all, we have energy, we all need energy, and we all have this energy to be able to do things remarkably well. The problem is a lot of us, including myself, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm not exempt, we, we we don't maximize that energy. We don't tap into that, the full potentiality of that energy. And the reason why we don't is because the number one reason why we don't is because we fail to recognize that in order to unleash, unlock this potential energy that's stored within us, which is called internal energy, is because we fail to, to, to recognize that it needs to be, it needs to be guarded. It needs to be cultivated and, 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 uh, protected in a very particular way because here's the thing that internal energy is the reason why it's it's kind of a, a paradox kind of a, a self contradictory statement the same potential energy that allows to do greatness is the same potential energy that that prohibits us from doing greatness if that makes any sense because and what I mean by that is that same energy can be used against us if not guarded that same energy, can, for instance, let me give you an example. I spoke about delta. Delta waves or delta state for our brain, brain waves. The delta state that is where we're sleeping, right? You need to, In order to sleep, your brain has to go into delta. And it, ha it has a numeric value. It's between zero and one. You don't want to go to zero. That means you're dead. You're brain dead. Uh, and then... Up right above delta is theta, and that also has a, a numeric value. It's between uh, one and like three, and and you continue to climb all the way up to uh, to beta, gamma, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if we don't cultivate that internal energy and 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 keep it uh, on a high vibratory note, I'll explain what I mean by that vibratory note. Then that energy is going to be on a low vibratory note. Now the interesting thing is, low vibration doesn't mean it does mean that it's, it's it does mean what it's what it's what it says low vibration, low energy, but it's also high energy. Let me explain what I mean by that. Low energy is so powerful. It's still just because it's low energy doesn't mean it doesn't have power. It's just that the power is being used in a, a, a negative way. Right, so it's very low energy, but it has a lot of power. And what I mean by that is, think of a person who's homeless on the street; they're in extreme low energy, right, in terms of frequencies. But look at the power that it has to destroy their lives. You see what I'm saying? That's a perfect example. A person who's homeless on the street is in, I mean, delta. They're they're in constant delta, even though they're not physically sleeping. They're psychologically, mentally, co conscious wise. They're, they're consciously sleeping. But look at the power that it has to destroy their lives, right? It completely destroy their lives. So this is what this is what I mean when I say low energy is powerful. It's powerful in a negative way. So the internal energy within our system needs to be guarded, cultivated, and, and uh, maintained. What's interesting is this. Our internal energy is predicated based on a substrate energy, which is called thermal energy. Thermal energy dictates our internal energy. It's not the other way around. So thermal energy is the foundation of our internal energy. Now, the internal energy, the internal energy, like I said, is built off the thermal energy. The thermal energy is built off... Uh, molecular and uh, atomic energy. What I mean by that is the thermal energy that we have is called thermal energy because there's heat involved. 
is derived from the vibratory particles within our makeup. Those vibratory particles are, are atoms, molecules, etc. These are particles. They vibrate, right? They have a vibratory nature. They have a motile nature, motion nature. And because of their vibratory motile nature, they create that warmth. Hence, it's called thermal energy. And so the way for us to maintain our internal energy and keep that on a high scale is to maintain our vibratory energy, which is the thermal, which is where we get our thermal energy. And the way we maintain our vibratory energy is to make sure that, as I spoke in last videos, we practice meditation. Meditation is an excellent source uh, of maintaining your vibratory energy.